In a previous video, I demonstrated how to use a rotary encoder to give the amount and direction of rotation. In this video, the rotary encoder will be used to control the rotation of a stepper motor. Stepper motors offer high torque and are ideal for quick positioning over a short distance. The stepper motor used in this project is the 28BYJ-48 stepper motor. This is a 5 volt DC stepper motor that has four phases. The stepper motor here is driven by this uh, driver module which is based on the IC ULN 2003. The ULN 2003 has seven Darlington transistor arrays. The components used in this project are shown here. We have the stepper motor connected to the uh, driver module and uh, line 1, 2, 3, 4 from the module is connected to digital pins of the Arduino pins 11, 10, 9 and 8 respectively. The clock pin of the rotary encoder is connected to analog uh, A4 and the data pin is connected to A5. In this first demonstration, the stepper motor is rotating clockwise and then counterclockwise. And each rotation takes 2048 steps. The C++ code of the first demonstration is shown here. Here we have a object called stepper motor which has these parameters. So these are the pins in which the four lines are connected with the Arduino and this variable here which has a value of 2048 determines the steps per revolution. Inside the setup function we determine the speed of the stepper motor in this case is 15 rpm and inside the loop function first we rotate the uh, stepper motor clockwise and then counterclockwise. In this next demonstration the rotary encoder is used to manually move the stepper motor in any direction. The C++ code for the stepper motor control using rotary encoder is shown here. The code was taken from a site called Simple Projects and a link to this site will be provided in the description. The code uses a technique called pin change interrupt which enables the 24 I.O. pins of the Arduino to become interrupt pins ready to receive any external interrupts. So by executing these two instructions here, pins A and 4 of the Arduino become interrupt pins. So whenever there is a pulse at uh, either pins A, A4 or A5, this interrupt service routine will be executed. In a future video, I'll demonstrate pin change interrupt in the Arduino environment. The rotary encoder can also be used to control other types of motors, such as the servo motor, but that's another video. Thank you for watching.